we have arrived officially to the ultimate activity that you can carry out with this amazing piece of material called the test tube division material, also known as racks and tubes. This is where we finally use it to its fullest potential. And there are a lot of positives to that, and there are also some drawbacks to that. But let's focus on the positives first. It's always good to accentuate the positive. When a child has been working feverishly with our stamp game, uh, they are going to have that experience of getting tired again because you're constantly, constantly taking 10 and exchanging and putting it back and having to count it. As you know from your previous experience with a single digit divisor, we already have the 10 waiting for us and it's just so much easier just to pour it on out. So that kind of facility makes it a little bit easier to have the dividends be a lot larger, as a matter of fact, go up to millions and you can even have larger divisors. Um, now in the previous uh, discussion that we had for, um, uh, for the stamp game, there was one more thing I did forget to mention. I wanted to talk to you about possibly having a four digit divisor. And it is possible to do that with the stamp game. The only problem is, is that your dividend is going to be relatively small. So if you wanted to put together a, div a div divisor of, let's say, this amount, this stands for 1,111. This stands for 1,000 people. And that's why it's a lot larger than the rest of them. But again, we're talking about a cumbersome situation, aren't we? We're having to pull this out, having to pull that out. And when it comes to using this material, it's going to be a lot simpler, a heck of a lot simpler. Now, here, here's a little bit more about the nuances with, um, with this. Once the children, again, they're getting used to exchange, starting from the highest place value of the, of the dividend, going to the smallest. This is something that for one person to do, it can be done, but it's a lot more enjoyable when there's more, more than one person. So when you are grouping kids together, make sure that they have fully understood what it means to give 10 to a decurion and one to a foot soldier, and even further with that, with the hundreds. What I tend to do with the children is that they each take a board and in this situation we're going to move the thousands board f f just to make things a little bit simpler but uh, if you're ever putting together a uh, test tube division uh, series um, not series but a uh, a group of materials for one set you must have two green boards and then one of red and one of blue and that's pretty much what you need when it comes to getting to this part Let's say we have the number of cups out here. We might have two units here, four tens here, three hundreds here, six thousands here and just to make life a little bit more exciting let's get two ten thousands so this would be our dividend and we would place the cups as such and then your divisor let's make a an even number divisor there's two units in there Maybe we can put four tens. Get a little slippery there. And then we can have three hundreds. We're ready to go. We have all of our technologies set up waiting to uh, perform. If you have three kids, 
one child will be sitting at the centurion, the decurion, and the unit base. And how are we to start distributing? Well, the very first situation is what are we going to see? What place value are we going to start uh, divvying up? And it's not going to be this. And it's not going to be this. If you have three places in your divisor, you're going to be involving three of the leftmost cups. And we are seeing how many hundreds each man gets. Even though a person might be in charge of this cup and another might be in charge of this cup and et cetera, et cetera, everyone must be checking each other out. Ten, this would be how many hundreds for this? And we're always introducing that question. How many hundreds are in here? This is a hundred hundreds for a hundred men. A hundred hundreds for a hundred men. Up, oh, we don't have enough. No one will be getting hundreds. Time to move it back. And then you move back the cups. And we are now going to figure out the next level. We still have to take care of these guys, and that makes this doesn't this make this so much easier. All you have to do is just get your ten. There's your one ten thousand and two ten thousand. And there's not a lot of retrieval going on like we would with the uh, with the stamp game. It just makes it quick and easy. So, on that note, we'll put one more in there. There's always a stuck one there. Sometimes this always happens and the kids actually notice it before you. Um, and uh, well that'll be another talk but essentially now we're ready to figure out how many and you always ask kids how many what are we going to be giving out and we're going to figure out how many tens are going to be given to this army of 342. So this further emphasizes the need that all the ideas of distribution have to be mastered here before they can go over here because the whole idea is to make this a little bit more of a cooperative effort but also a little bit easier. Uh, but because of the coordination, the finger to hand eye coordination, knowing to go where to pull, where to put, you know, where to put in and such, get part of those uh, competencies taken care of here and then the rest will be very easy to carry out uh, with the uh, Decurion test tube division.